Hey guys, Pablo with b and and today at Top Reddit Post we're gonna be taking a look on Tales from Tech Support and if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so, hit that notifications button and leave us a like and a comment in the end of this video. I need you to fix Google Bing immediately, posted by u slash deleted, another tale from the out of hours IT desk. Service desk? Google Bing isn't working, is the system down? It's very important, I use the Bing. Yes, the caller actually said the Bing. I'm sorry, can you confirm which system you're referring to, as I'm unfamiliar with that? Google Bing, really? How can you not know this? Google Bing is not a system with support out of hours, nor in hours. This sounds like a mashup between two different search engines. What exactly is happening? I need Google Bing to do my job. This is unacceptable. I can't find Google Bing anywhere in my PC. How dare you remove this? I need you to fix Google Bing immediately. May I remote in and take a look? I spent five minutes setting up remote connection. Turns out that Caller had a shortcut in her desktop called Google Bing. This opened the Bing search homepage in Google Chrome. <laughs> She'd accidentally changed the name of the shortcut from Google Bing to something else and hence could not find it. Okay, that has been renamed now, so you're good to go. Next time, don't mess around with my computer. I know you guys changed this. I'm not stupid. I have a certificate of proficiency in computing. Okay, thanks for calling. Note. Yes, caller really said computing. I died a little inside after taking this call. I'll tell you guys, that's probably the wrong way to talk to customer service. You're probably gonna get those guys much less helpful if you talk like everything that happened to your computer is their fault. I am pretty sure I knocked a user out from nearly 300 miles away. Posted by u slash Raytaro. I work help desk for a retail store chain in the UK. I had a call from a store about a till drawer that wasn't opening after a transaction. Could you check if the till is plugged into the back of the PC? Uh, sure, one second. Yeah, it's plugged in. The POS software occasionally forgets which COM port to operate for the till drawer. I'm just going to have to try to open the drawer manually. Can you stand back from the drawer so it doesn't hit you? Haha, <laughs> sure. I open up CMD and try to open the drawer. Echo A, COM 1. Nothing. Echo A, COM 2. Uh, hello, I heard something. Did the drawer open? Hello? After around 20 seconds, a woman picks up the phone laughing. Ah, uh, <laughs> he had to go to the bathroom to clean his nose. The till drawer hit him in the face and he busts his nose. We'll call you back later. Whenever I want to reach through the screen and smack a user, I always think back to this story and remember that it's possible. I actually don't know what to say. That's... <laughs> that's just hilarious, but at least he gave the guy a warning. My data hasn't been working for 20 minutes and I want compensation. Posted by u slash Machiavelli54. So I had a customer call me up in mobile tech support with the problem that his data wasn't working for 20 minutes. Pretty quick I found out why. He had accidentally turned off his data on the phone menu which happens a lot, but usually the customer goes, oops, silly me. So this customer starts demanding that he wants compensation for the time without service and being very rude about it. After a couple of minutes, he's not taking this is not something we did, but his mistake has an answer. So I get an idea. I tell him I'm going to speak to my manager. I went up to my manager, explain what is happening. He says the customer's being ridiculous and I say, Listen, I have an idea for him. Are you okay with this? And then explain my idea. Are you kidding? Let me get on this call listening before I go back. I wanna hear this. I go to the phone, he gave me the thumbs up that he was ready to listen and I proceeded. Right sir, I had a word with my manager and I've managed to swing something for you. So let's break this down. You pay us $39.99 a month for three services, 
calls, tax, and data. So let's divide your bill by 3, that gives us 1333, so let's divide further by 30 days to give us 44 pence for your daily data. Now you had your data turned off for 20 minutes, but for the purpose of this I'll round it up to 1 hour. So we just need to divide that 44 pence by 24 hours, so that means you're looking for a compensation of 1.8 pence, so let's just say 2. I looked over my manager during and he was covering his mouth laughing. Customer goes, Are you having a freaking laugh? No sir, the math's there. Go on, then I'll take it. Edit. Yay, my first goal. Thank you kind person. Like I said before guys, don't be nasty to your customer service. Plus if that's your fault, just accept it. I got it. You're not able to watch my last video on YouTube for the last 40 minutes, but hey, just play it again. A good answer for when you're pulled over. Posted by you slash psychofans. I hope you forgive me for a third hand story. But I'm one of those evil developers, not a support per se. But I thought you'd enjoy this story anyway. So this happened to a colleague of a colleague. Hero, our hero, cop a representative of our hard work law enforcement agency. So Hero was happy speeding along in his car, running a few yellow lights a bit late, etc. Finally, the law catches up to him and pulls him over. Here's how the conversation went. Can I see your driver's license, please? Uh, certainly, here it is, officer. The cop takes the license back to the motorcycle and speaks into the radio. It's not going to help you any, though. What do you mean? The server you have to check it against down. And why do you say that? Because I'm the guy they call to get on site to get it up again? Our hero did not get a fine this time, instead he got a police escort to his workplace. Hey guys, sometimes telling the truth pays off. The server's down, you need to fix this now. Posted by u slash deleted. Here's another tale of the out of hours hell desk. This gem happened a few days ago. Service desk? The server's down, you need to fix this now. Which server are you referring to? The server! Okay, what is it you're trying to do? Trying to access the goddamn server. Yes, she was shouting the entire time. Please, can you stop shouting at me and tell me which server you are talking about? Or what it is that you're trying to do? The company has many different servers for different things. I need to know exactly what isn't working. Oh my god, the server isn't working. The server isn't working. You're wasting my time. In the background, I've already loaded up our server monitoring tools. No alerts. I've checked our monitoring. I'm not seeing any servers as being down. Which department are you calling from? Irrelevant! Fix the goddamn server now! Can I get your staff ID, please? Irrelevant! Ten minutes later. Service desk. Oh my god! Damn server still down! What are you doing about this? Nothing. Excuse me? Nothing? You still haven't told me which server's down or what is not actually working. You people, it's obvious my phone isn't working. I can't make calls. The server has gone down. You need to call your people and fix this. Ma'am, I can see you're calling me from your desk phone. Is that correct? Yes. And this phone's the phone you can't make calls from, right? Yes. Um... Do you see why I'm having trouble understanding the problem? The server's down, I cannot call 555-213. Ma'am, that number is three digits short of a valid number. That's why the call is not connecting. Listen, the server's obviously down. I'll have my people call your people about this. I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. You know guys, the funniest thing what he did in the end, I used to tell people, I love my life, I love my life, I love my life three times because you know how it is, if you tell yourself something three times, it's true. Hey guys, if you got to the end of this video, I really would like to thank you all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell notification sign, and leave us a like and a comment. This really helps a lot the channel. Also let me know how you enjoying the latest videos. 
I know there have been a lot of changes on them, just let us know, please. Also, don't forget to check out our Twitter at Pablo and Alana, and also our subreddit r slash brokennotdead to let us know of any improvement you would like in the channel. I hope you guys have a good night, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow.